Hey folks, if you assume the Amazon App Store is all your Fire Stick offers, you'd be incorrect. There's an entire universe available through unique downloader codes that convert your unit into a center of unlimited entertainment. I'm discussing movies, live television, and even premium sporting events. Everything obtainable within seconds. In this guide, I'll share the strongest codes of 2025, the safe method to use them, and the hidden app stores Amazon hopes you never find. Start by going to your home screen and finding that magnifying glass icon. Press down, then hit the center button on your controller. A keyboard will appear. Next, type Downloader. It should quickly appear as a recommended option. Scroll down, choose it, and hit the center button one more time. This brings you directly to the right app, which is orange. Let's get it installed. The app's information page will load. Simply hit the center button once, and the download begins. Allow it to reach 100%. Staying patient is key right now. Once it finishes, you'll notice launch now, but hold off on launching it right now. Since it shows launch now, hit the home button on your controller. After that, we definitely need to access your Fire Stick system menu to change a crucial setting. The fastest way is to navigate all the way to the right side of your home screen. A settings option will show underneath. Scroll down and we're searching for the option called My Fire TV. If your unit isn't using the latest software, My Fire TV could be found in another spot. If you have an older version, the label could be My Device. Whatever it shows, this is the option we must choose. Go ahead and choose it. On my display, Developer Options is already visible. If it's not there, don't worry. I'll quickly demonstrate the steps to activate it. Go up and choose About. Now, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV chosen, quickly hit the middle button nine times. A message will appear stating, Congratulations, you are now a developer. When you see that, hit the back button and Developer Options will now appear in the menu. Let's access Developer Options right now. The first option is ADB Debugging. Hit the middle button to switch it to the on position. If a small dialog box appears, scroll down and choose Allow. Next, choose Install Unknown Apps. You'll definitely find Downloader listed right there. You could find other applications as well. Navigate to Downloader and hit the middle button to turn it on. On some older Fire Sticks, this specific option might not exist. Instead, it could show apps from unknown sources, and you can just toggle that single setting to on. If that's what you find, simply turn it on. After that's done, hit the home button on your controller. Now, let's find that new Downloader app. The easiest approach is to navigate nearly to the bottom and choose the icon with three squares and a plus mark. This page shows every single app you've got installed. The most recent applications always appear at the very end. Simply navigate all the way to the bottom and you'll quickly locate the app you just added. Let's launch Downloader right now. If a small window instantly appears, simply hit the middle button to close it. This app lets you visit almost any website. To type a URL, hit the middle button twice. A keyboard will appear so you can type the web address. Right now, I'll take you to my exclusive website. I'll show the address on the screen while I type. Be completely sure you type it exactly or you could encounter a connection error. Go slowly, pause the video if I'm going too fast. Once the address is correctly typed, choose and hit go. Let's wait for the download to complete. If you happen to see a connection error or a check link notification, it means your service provider is blocking the connection. Just turn on your VPN or change its location and that should fix the problem. When the download completes, you'll be asked to install the app. Slide over and choose install. When the installation process completes, slide over and select Done. Right after you select Done, 
you'll return to this page. Now slide over, select delete, and then once more, slide and choose delete. That's all the downloading we need from the Downloader app right now. Hit the home button. Next, we must return to the Fire Stick menu to change one last important setting. Remember, navigate all the way to the bottom. Choose My Fire TV or My Device, then access Developer Options. And one more time, go to Install Unknown Apps. Choose that option. Now you'll notice Unlin is appearing in the list. If you notice other apps, scroll down to choose Unlin and hit the middle button once to turn it on. After everything's configured, hit the home button one more time. Next, we must find the new Unlin app. Remember, just navigate over and choose the icon with three squares and a plus mark. All your apps are on this page, and the most recent one is always at the end. That's where you'll see the Unlin app we just got. Let's launch it up. The first thing it requires is a new library. Hit the middle button on your controller twice, just like that. Another keyboard will appear requesting the specific library code. Friends, I created my very own private app store giving access exclusively to my loyal viewers and subscribers. I put in effort to fill my store with only the best, latest apps. All I ask for my effort, keeping the apps current, creating this video, and replying to your questions, is that you hit the subscribe button. That quick click tells me thank you for giving all of this at no cost. And a huge thank you to all my subscribers who are already following me. Now that you're a subscriber, go ahead and enter this code. Be sure to go slowly. It must be typed exactly as shown, or you could get an error. If I'm going too quickly, just pause the video. Once you type the code correctly, choose and select Next, and allow the library to load up. Welcome to my private app store. There are 70 incredible apps here for free on-demand content, live content, live sports, and much more. People frequently ask, which are my top picks? My personal favorites for cord cutting are featured right in the welcome message. Many subscribers also inquire about VPNS. I've included an important message right here, so please take a quick moment to review all the information on the welcome page. After you've reviewed everything, hit the middle button on your controller three times. This will instantly organize my store for you Navigate up and down for categories or right and left for the apps inside them. Right now, I'll show a few options, walk you through how the system operates, and how to start enjoying your free content. Now scroll down through the categories until you locate category number 13, Cool YouTube Examples. The first app I highly recommend downloading here is IPVANISHVPN. This is my top choice for staying secure and anonymous while using all these applications. Some people experience issues installing or opening apps because their internet provider blocks the connection. Using IPVANISHVPN protects you and circumvents any throttling or blocks from your provider. To download IPVANISHVPN, you can choose it and select Download. Or, what I like to do to always guarantee I get the latest version is go back to the Fire Stick homepage. Locate the magnifying glass, scroll down, select the search bar, and when the keyboard appears, type I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H. Sometimes you will need to enter it in fully to make it show up, so just go slowly here. Enter it in exactly as I am, then you'll see it in the suggestions. Choose and hit the middle button. On this page, select the app from the list, and in this menu, hit the middle button to start the installation process. Once it's installed, hit the middle button to open it, and you can log in. Don't have an account yet? No problem. I'll show a really simple way to obtain one so you can browse safely and access all these amazing apps. Get your phone or computer and open your browser. Navigate to the website address shown on screen, or simply point your camera at the QR code to get there instantly. 
The link is also included in the video description and the comments section. Choose a plan. Even one month is sufficient to test it out and see the difference for yourself. After you successfully sign up, they'll email you your username and password. With those key details, your Fire Stick will be safe and private. Sign in to the IP Vanish app and hit connect. There's one critical setting I want to demonstrate. Hit the gear icon in the IP Vanish app. A menu appears. I've highlighted connect on Android startup. If you turn on this setting, you'll never need to manually remember to turn on your VPN every time you power up your device. It'll connect by itself, so you never need to pause your movie just to verify if your VPN is active. It just handles it for you. Now that you're fully protected, let's start getting some more great apps. Hit home and return to your applications. Launch the Unlin app once more and return to the same category. Here are the next four apps I recommend for on-demand shows, sports, and live content. You'll locate four more applications to download here. Make sure to read the descriptions so you understand exactly what each one offers and how to use it. Here's the first one. You'll locate an app for live channels, special events, and more. Select it, hit download, and now we'll just wait for this to reach 100%. It could only take a few seconds if your internet is quick or somewhat longer if it's slower. But either way, this download step always finishes, so just stay patient and let it do its thing. This depends on your internet speed and the file size how long it could take, but when the window appears, select Install App, slide over, and hit Install. Now it's going through the installation, so we'll wait until that reaches 100%. This step can take a bit longer than downloading, but really, it's completely normal. And once it's complete, we'll be ready to continue. Following that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can instantly grab more apps. Next, you'll see an app built specifically for sports. Choose it and hit download. Here comes another progress bar. All we need to do is let it climb to 100%. Based on your internet connection, this part could fly by or take a short moment. Don't stress though, it's just part of the process and we'll be continuing right after. When you see the small window, select Install App, slide over and hit Install. Based on your specific device, this could be fast or take a moment, but either way, it always finishes and will continue as soon as it does. Now, look for an app that provides you both movies and TV shows. Choose, select, download, and let it finish. We'll wait here for a bit while it fills up to 100%. I understand it feels like we've done this step, but it's all part of the required setup. Just hang in there. This won't take forever, and we'll be on to the next step before you realize it. When the install window appears, select Install App, slide over, and select Install. Now, some apps in my store actually require a separate player to function properly. The one you just obtained for movies and TV shows is exactly like that. You'll notice the title clearly mentions it requires another player. It could seem a bit confusing initially, but the description explains everything and it'll make total sense once you start using the apps. Let's obtain that required player app now. Locate the app, select Download, and wait for it to complete. Almost there! Just let this one to load all the way up to 100%. I realize we've had several of these waits already, but that's just how the process works. Stay with me, it won't be much longer. And when the window appears, install it just like before. And that's it. We just obtained four awesome apps. Remember, there are 70 total in my store, so don't feel limited by what I've shown here. My top favorites are easily found in category one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them every day. Explore the store and download as many of the apps as you wish to try.
Now, I know we just installed some really fantastic apps for free movies, TV, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. But before you open any of these, I always recommend activating your VPN first. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribes and supports this channel. It means the world and helps me out a ton. I appreciate you all for taking your time with me. I can't wait to read your comments and see you again in the next video.